Welcome back to Dr. O Solutions. My name is Oleg Nikishin and in this video I uh, will explain you and we'll try to share some ideas that we have uh, on using ozone at home. So uh, you invested some good sum of money in ozone equipment for your therapy uh, and for other reasons for instance you want to do just uh, uh, fruits disinfections or whatever the reason may be but if now you're feeling good you do that ozone therapies at home <clears throat> once or twice a week it now equipment sits sits in the closet or sits somewhere somewhere five uh, days a week obviously the question will be what can I do with that equipment and what can I do with ozone and how can I use ozone at home uh, and this is a very good question uh, there are many different uses ozone at home and you already know there are many applications uh, of, of ozone <clears throat> in this video I want to share some uh, some ideas uh, with you that how we use it how I use it at home and how my friends use it and what some other the patients and customers share ideas with us so we would like to just pass it on and give those ideas to you um, now let's start uh, from basics uh, ozone application which is ozone disinfecting but in high concentrations ozone not only will do disinfecting the viruses and bacteria but as well it can kill small uh, insects like uh, it can uh, uh, kill even bed bugs, can kill moth, can kill small uh, creatures that you really don't want in your home. Uh, that's you can use ozone for that for that purpose as as well. Uh, but let me uh, be more uh, specific. Uh, how we can uh, start applying ozone at home? We presented you a small disinfection box. That was a small, uh, small box for, for medical more disinfecting or for some concerns if you do have baby items or other items you really want to disinfect or, or some whatever it might be, the reason may be even some small tools you can do that. But let's ex extend it, this application a little more further out. Uh, for instance, <clears throat> I went to the ocean shore with my, with my backpack and it smells uh, really fishy <laughs> because it was ocean and I don't like that smell application number one so I would like to remove the smells yes you can do that uh, so, so you can even do more than that uh, for instance or assuming that's the backpack and that's what you, you take to your gym or your kids playing lacrosse, uh, doing wrestling, do many other contact uh, sports, then, then other concerns will come for you as a, as a parent as, as a contact sport especially so what you could that kids could have, they could have a ringworms and that is a big issue or even scabies, that's even more presents issue and what do you do with those clothes? Well, we can dispose of them by the new ones. Yes, you can. But how about, about the bag? Because the clothes put back in the bag and that there is contamination in it. So, okay, let's, let's see how ozone can treat it. And that could be done very, very simple. Uh, we sell 10 foot tubings with the, with the connectors. So what you do is very simple application. You have a radio ozone generator and you have oxygen tank. Let's start with the low feed, for instance 1 16th or 1 8th in this, in this particular case liters per minute. I attach the tubing to the ozone generator. Okay, I put my clothes or whatever it may be inside and I simply start ozone generator, put my tubing in, close it, that's it. And let it sit for an hour. So ozone is going to get in, inside, and whatever it's inside, it will be treated. But just remember a few things. Number one, ozone is a bleaching compound. So you might lose some color. 
in, uh, but it's not bleaching like chlorine, but it's still going to bleach. Second, ozone will destroy rubber and latex. So make sure there is no rubber and no latex parts as, as a shoes. Shoes do have a rubber. If your soles of the shoes is not from rubber or latex, yes, no, the problem. It might not going to destroy it from the beginning, but uh, it eventually three or four times treatment and you will see the crack in it. So again, as a previous video, I uh, explained when we do disinfecting, when surface is moist or the clothes is moist, you have more ozone uh, exposure, you have more ozone efficiency. It smells good, so we're going to shut it down. This is one application that really you can do at home. If you want to do other application as, for instance, you have um, whatever, you, you got the big clothes, you have, a, you have some big pile of something that you want to do the same thing, you want to treat, you want to remove the smell, especially the smoking smell, it does it very well. Uh, any other smells or disinfecting, what you can do, you just take the garbage bag, put whatever you want in the garbage bag, open this up, put whatever it is in it, and just put it together, just tie it together, stick, stick the end of the hose in, and that's it, and let it balloon, and in this case it's just a large garbage bag, I believe it's 55 gallon, so you probably will probably put like half a liter or a liter per minute, so, and then maybe within an hour you just switch it to the low concentration, and that's what I did a lot of times uh, when um, my relatives come to me and they say this doesn't smell good, so what can you do? Yes, we can do uh, ozone smell, uh, remove the smell with ozone. The other very interesting concentration, uh, the application, sorry. So as you probably know, uh, our generator is a, is a low voltage generator. And it is a 12 volt uh, power adapter comes through. So that's why you can find car adapter on our website. So what you do, just is very simple, again it connects right directly to the ozone generator and this goes to your, uh, to your power 12 volts outlet inside the car. Again, you just, you want to remove the smell on the car, same thing. You can leave this, uh, this is totally ozone, ozone resistant and this is ozone resistant so you can leave both of them in the car, for instance for an hour, just turn it on, shut the doors, walk away, that's what a lot of uh, car dealers do actually. But again, remember, uh, do not expose for a long period of time um, the rubber parts and, and, and rubber, any rubber material and latex material. One time in the car, it's not the problem, that's why they do it once, remove the smell, and, and then that kind of, that, that gives that nice and fresh smell. But if you do it all the time, car has a lot of rubber materials and rubber parts, so you probably will destroy them. Uh, other very interesting application, let's, let's extend it a little bit further. Uh, for instance, uh, you can build big um, uh, smell removal disinfecting box simply by purchasing a large box like that. What you will do, you will drill the hole in it and we sell uh, panel through connectors. Uh, the set comes from two connectors, uh, they do come apart, and that's what they call panel through connectors. So you drill the hole, it's a 6 millimeter hole, you just push it through, connect it in, assuming that's the, that's the box, okay, and this is going to come directly to it, so that part will be outside the box, that part will be inside the box. And then you make your own, your own large disinfecting box. So it's going to go like this. So you, you open up like this, so you're assuming you're drilling. You're drilling it, you're pushing it through, put the nut on the end, and this stays inside. And this is tight enough uh, for you, if you're concerned, so you can, you, can, you can put it outside. Because this is, we have our large silicone uh, tubing. So you will extend it outside, but still box will, will have very high concentration of ozone. 
But again, this is connectors we sell it as a part, as a set. One is a lure connector, uh, another is a barb connector, and this is two barb connectors. You can, uh, when you buy it, so you can request us, give me two lures or give me two barbs. We'll just switch it, but by default, it has two lure, uh, two one lure, one barb connectors in the set. Now, other applications that I told you about, like moth and even bed, bed bugs. And bed bugs will be a particularly interesting application, but you probably will need large plastic to wrap something around, like your couch or your mattress or whatever it is, and then they will crawl inside and hide it. So in that case, you probably will have to have a larger tank, or if you have oxygen concentrate, it will be very nice. Put that thing outside, uh, wrap it in the plastic, stick that tube inside, and, and leave it there for a day. Ozone will kill it. Uh, so you can watch how am I killing a uh, lime tick on a video, and uh, four, four and a half minutes was, and tick was completely dissolved by ozone. And again, it's not toxic when it's outside because it converts back to the oxygen. Uh, so it's it's very interesting application. I think it, it is uh, very uh, helpful as well. Uh, so what else can you do? If, for instance, you have a small uh, room or closet, again, you take uh, long tubing. This is 10 foot. Is that's not enough? Uh, you can request give us uh, buy two sets and tell us I want it. I want it. Uh, I want it 20 feet. We're not going to cut it for you. But even though it come, we have uh, some connectors so it can connect together. So you put this in one room and you extend uh, the line to the other room, for instance, a small room, it has a smoke in it, smoke smell, or whatever, mold, even if the ozone will remove the mold as well, uh, folks, but you will need high concentration of it. So you put it under the door, you seal the door, you seal the windows, and you'll, you let ozone in, in the room, and that will remove the smell and remove even the mold. Again, just remember. Uh, again, about latex and the rubber parts and materials ozone will destroy it as well because that's will that's just they not ozone resistant. Uh, so I think that was very helpful um, uh, tips I would like to share with you. If you like it, if you have something to say, if you have uh, if you have other applications or other thoughts, if you want to share it, share it with us. Share it in the group that what we have uh, the group on the, on the Facebook. Uh, they called Medical Ozone Research Group. It's a closed group, you have to ask to join it, and then we allow you to join it. Currently, there is slightly less than 500 members in it. And uh, it's a very active group, many questions we have. Uh, so if you like a particular application, if you found something very interesting, send us your thoughts, we will make a video and share it among everyone else. Again, please share it, engage, don't sit on the sideline. If you like it, give us your thumbs up uh, and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video.